What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Charting Crypto. Today we're over Jasmine Queen or Jasmine, which is up 2.2% at 006. We haven't covered Jasmine in quite a while because it's been crap in the bed for so long, but we've actually found a little bit of support and we've been recovering rather nicely. Also, I have something big to talk to you guys about for Jasmine in this TA, so make sure you stick around. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Jasmine. Okay, everyone, let's get into Jasmine. I guess I'll start off with the big news. I mean, look at this. Is this not a classical de definition of a cup and handle pattern? I mean, look, it looks exactly like this example. We come in from the bottom, we have the cup, we have the handle. And then once you break that, it is absolutely lift off time. So for example, if we just drag this down right here, it looks like we actually broke the handle right now. So I hate to say it because I'm always so bearish on Jasmine because of their, their past history, but this looks like it's broken and Jasmine is about ready to pop, guys. We have our cup, we have our handle, we broke out right here, and I wouldn't be surprised if we went back up to one cents from this area. It's kind of crazy to think about. So that was the big news that I want to talk to you guys about. So bullish on Jasmine right now. I haven't drawn any lines yet, which we will get into. The only thing that's kind of... Uh, Going against the grain on that is the MACD's losing its bullish momentum. The RSI is pretty high, almost overbought, and we got a sell signal on the WTX. So that's something to take into consideration. I mean, what we could see here, since we have this handle forming, is a possible back test of this handle as support, like one more time, and that could be our lift off to a penny. So I do think Jasmine might be heading to a penny here, guys, even though the indicators are showing we are well overbought. Um, let's actually look at the day chart. The day chart will give us a better picture of things. Day chart right now, if we look at the MACD, well, will blow that up. Yeah, see, look, at this is why we look at the longer time frame. We actually just flipped bullish on the MACD, which does validate that cup and handle breakout. RSI is starting to work its way up, and we have a, actually a lot of room to run to the upside here on the day chart, and the WTX is starting to tail back up as well. And you can see the main price volume is down here, but I'm not too concerned about that. Another thing I want to look at here is the GMMA. The GMMA actually just crossed over green, which is extremely bullish. I'm very, very um, surprised at how accurate the GMMA is from calling downtrends and uptrends. And every time we've crossed over green here, we've ran a decent size amount. And you can see we broke out of that handle of a cup and handle pattern. So I would put one cent minimally on the charts here, on the cards. I would not be surprised at all if we went to a penny. And that penny area is just above the 382. So what we're currently getting stopped out at is the 618, but we do have that day chart cup and handle pattern going for us. So if we get above 007, that is going to be our liftoff point. We get above 007, and I think we're going to be seeing a substantial move for Jasmine. We did briefly here get above the 618, but at that point, we were so exhausted. You can see we were overbought three different times. RSI was extremely high for a while. Um, so we were pretty much exhausted right here. We have room to run this time at the 618. And like I said, we have that cup and handle pattern breakout currently happening. So I am going to be bullish on Jasmine here, guys. I think we're going to be seeing a penny here pretty soon if this cup and handle plays out. And as of right now, it does look like it's playing out. We just need to get over the 618 at 007. So we break 007 on Jasmine. I think we're going to be seeing some substantial moves to the upside. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter. The links are below in the description.